In this episode, a lightweight exoskeleton for the masses, and DARPA's plans to pluck drones out of the sky. Welcome to your Manufacturing Minute. The joints of the human body have limitations that become more pronounced after an injury and as we age. But what if there was something out there that could help us do things like lift more weight, walk farther, and run at faster speeds? Well, San Francisco's startup Rome Robotics hopes to bring an exoskeleton for the masses to accomplish just that. Still in the early stages, Rome Robotics has developed a lightweight, inexpensive exoskeleton made predominantly of plastic and high-strength fabric that doesn't sacrifice the power associated with bulkier electromechanical exoskeletons. The company's solution involves using fabric and an attached compressor to create air cavities that are attached to a brace. The brace fits over our user's joints to apply external torque in just the right way. Rome Robotics hopes to make a product that costs much less than electromechanical exoskeletons by using inexpensive manufacturing techniques like sewing and injection molding. The entire unit consists of the braces, a small battery, electronics board, and lightweight compressor in a small backpack, which could weigh five pounds or less. Demonstrating a functioning product is probably a few years away. Do you think products like this would take off in the consumer market? What about for warehouse and manufacturing use? Tell us what you think by leaving your comments below. DARPA, or the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, is essentially the U.S. military's R&D branch. And one ongoing project that has long captured their interest is in trying to devise a way to safely and securely land drones in remote locations. Well, last week, DARPA researchers released footage of one study's progress called Project Sidearm. The project's goal is to create a mobile crane that would ideally be able to snatch drones or UAVs out of thin air, thus eliminating the idea of landing altogether. And you'll see from the scaled down experiment in the video, DARPA's crane shows a Lockheed Martin drone being fired at the crane's hook, rail, and net setup. If this tech looks familiar, it's because DARPA basically borrowed the science needed to slow and trap jets that land on airplane carriers and applied it to achieve sidearms goals. And although this is still obviously in the testing phase, the sidearm launch and retrieval system would also ideally fit inside a shipping container thus making it possible to transport by rail, truck, airplane, ship, or helicopter. Do you think DARPA's all-in-one launch and retrieval system could work? Can you think of a more efficient or effective solution to solve the military's problem? Tweet me your thoughts at Mnet News or leave your comments in the section below. That's all the time we have for today, but tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for your next Manufacturing Minute.